I feel like I don't have identity. My name is Noma Tamsan, sweetness white boy. Um, in 2006, I went to vote and then I discovered that my surname is not um, the one on the registers vote. That's when I discovered then I was married to someone I don't know. I made it a point that on Monday, it is the first thing I had to go to um, home affairs. And then I told them my problem. They did check on their, on their system. Then indeed they find out that um, our, I was married. Every moment I go to home affairs, I'm being treated like, like nobody. There was a time I was even told that we are done with your matter. Don't make your problems our, our problem. There was even a point that uh, I felt like I'm not South African. Sorry. It's like I'm not South African. I'm not enjoying any benefits as, an, as a South African. The person somewhere there is enjoying all that should be rightfully mine. For instance, he's, he took loans, he opened accounts, clothing accounts, he, he did all he could do with the ID, all possible. In 2008, I had my second baby. When I had my baby, uh, that baby is now 11 years. That baby is not registered with Home Affairs because uh, they told me that if I have to register for him to get a birth certificate, the birth certificate will have to have the, the same name I'm fighting for. What, what is stressing me even now, worse than all, if, if I die, what will happen to my boy? Because he doesn't have a, a birth certificate. When, when we went to Home Affairs trying to maybe to get my, my son be registered on his father's name, we discovered something there, that I had two other children that are under my name, which, which was a shock. My children that I gave birth to are only two, but there were two other children on the system that I don't even know. So it has affected my life greatly. I, I have been with my husband since 1997. We had a customary marriage in, uh, in 2003. I cannot register that marriage. I cannot be used in my family as a beneficiary because my ID is high risk. I am not working now. I cannot work now, not because I am unable. Prior than that, I used to, I used to work for the bank. My career was built uh, based on the, uh, on the bank sector since that's what I've worked for. I had goals when I grew up that I will, I, will, I will provide even my, my family where I come from. But even myself, I'm a, I'm a dependent now. Even if I go for an interview, the interview will go well. So when they do check my credit, they just say, sorry, we cannot take you because of your credit rating. I have missed so many opportun opportunities. I'm even looking for a job as a cleaner, whereby there will be no checks for my credit rating. It's affecting me. My life is, is, is in the box. I'm trapped. It's like, it's like I'm not existing in South Africa.